Creatures of the night, rejoice. The dead man has returned. The aura of the Undertaker is one that always intimidates. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, the WWE Champion, The Undertaker. You are looking at dominance without equal. Power from another dimension. One of the most prolific strikers in WWE history. A man who knows absolutely no fear. And the thing about The Undertaker is the attitude. The fact that he knows he's an incredible warrior, that he will do anything and everything he needs to, to win. A competitor who has survived the toughest battles WWE has ever witnessed. Three decades of dominance. The dead man's wrath is unending. An unspeakable reign of terror over the WWE. And this is the moment where there is no turning back for the Undertaker's opponent. Welcome to damnation. Here comes the personification of longevity and hard work, the 16-time world champion. Well, not just the 16-time world champion, a Hollywood phenomenon, and a man who embodies the meaning and his of opponent, superstar. From West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, John John Cena is a man who's always practiced what he preached. He embodies never give up and hustle, loyalty, respect. Now even his detractors have to admit Cena's dedication. He never gives anything less than his very best. From where I'm sitting, he is the greatest WWE superstar in history. His name is John Cena, a 16-time world champion. I never accused John Cena of being foolish, but he may have gone too far when he raised the ire of the dead man. Yeah, calling out the baddest man in the yard could be seen as worst mistake. But think of the level of these two men. They've climbed the mountain and etched their names all over history in the process. Seeing who really is the greatest of all time, taking Undertaker. It's over the Dragon Sleeper. Oh, and he gets out. Perhaps some renewed life in him now. the leg. Bam! Really just laying it in. And that clearly rocks Cena a bit. Yeah, as Taker was putting that surprising agility to good use there. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent and tossing them aside. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. John Cena with a rough blow there. The Undertaker will be looking to start firing right out of the block. John Cena has to prepare for a flurry of offense like he's never experienced before. Absolutely, Cole. The dead man's the most lethal, pure striker in WWE. Cena needs to keep his foot on the gas pedal because the more offense the Phenom lands, 
the more likely it is that Cena's going to meet his demise at the hands of the Reaper. There is no one entity more dangerous than The Undertaker. If John Cena survives the dead man's offensive onslaught, he still has to land enough on his own offense to defeat the Phenom. It's a good thing Cena lives by the code, never give up, because he's going to need that spirit tonight. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Oh, saw what was coming and answers with the clothesline. Caught with the elbow. Oh, man, what a leg drop. Reverses the move into a DDT. Lands an elbow. Lives to fight another day. To the outside. This could get wild. Boom! The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Yeah, that was that hustle of Cena he's always talking about. And that prevents Undertaker's attack. Great strength being shown here. Oh! You don't aim for the apron unless you're looking to do some serious damage. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Elbow drop. Piercing. Ah, look at this, just cranking it out. Just cranking the head. Man, this is about as close as you can cut it. They're playing with fire here. Saw it coming. He'll head to the ring. Nice hip toss. He's got him down. Is this it? Shoulder up and the referee ends the count. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Suplex. Clearly an attack that very few superstars can perform with such ease. Caught in a bad position here. Oh man, taking it to the trachea. Big impact off the leg drop. Looking to take flight here. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Blast off! What an impact! Oh, God! A huge miss! There's bad timing, and then there's whatever you want to call that. Heading back to the ring. Oh. Boom! Look at... Uh-oh. Return fire from The Undertaker. Oh, I had that Wilson. Oh, John Cena. Cena with an attitude adjustment. The Undertaker in a bad way. He kicks out somehow. The trademark resolve of The Undertaker on display. He will not. Taking flight. Catches nothing but air. John Cena finding himself in some serious trouble here. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. If anyone can make a big comeback, he may get the three count right here. This is it. Oh, what a big celebration and a massive win for this man tonight. Hard fought victory, incredibly physical matchup. But this man has earned the right to celebrate here tonight. Wait, this is more fun than celebration. Oh, this from behind. More fun. This is classless. Why is he doing this? Now into the steel steps. Come on.
is the WWE Hall of Famer. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Forest Lake, Minnesota, Molly Holly. She kicked her cape to the curb and found her true calling, grinding people into the mat. Perhaps the toughest woman in WWE history, and she's got the Hall of Fame ring to prove it. Here comes trouble in the form of damage control. You're right about that, Saxton. This is one of the most dangerous groups around. And representing damage control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. Attitude or not, you cannot deny the collective talent of Bailey, Dakota Kai, and Io Sky. Now, Io Sky may be the best high flyer in women's division history. Kai, one of the most lethal strikers around, all led by the genius level ring IQ of the role model. Yeah, and here's the thing. They've also run roughshod over the entire women's division. Heck, they've even brought the fight to legends like Trish Stratus and Lita. That's because nobody stands in the way of damage control. Quite simply, nobody can stop damage control. Dakota Kai might just be one of the most treacherous and cutthroat competitors that WWE has ever seen. Her incredible ambition is matched only by her willingness to do anything to make her goals happen. Dakota simply wants the glory she knows she so richly deserves. If a few friendships or the hollow respect of the WWE fans is the price, then she's happy to pay it. We'll see just how far Kai is willing to go to secure the victory here. And also in the ring is Molly Holly, a staple of the Attitude Era. Molly was part of many colorful and memorable moments. She even donned a superhero alter ego at one time. But underneath it all, Molly's always stayed true to herself. That's the real lasting impact she's had here in WWE, as a symbol of what you can achieve when you never lose sight of yourself and your goals. Blatant disrespect. luster behind that kick. She avoids the attack completely. Ooh, look at her answering back. Lock it in, the dragon sleeper. Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. We know Molly Holly can hold her own in a tough match. But, Corey, how can she make sure she comes out on top in this one? I think the key is going to be Molly leveraging her impressive technical know-how. She's a serious competitor who can tie you up in knots and find unique counters when she needs to. So the more technical she can make this match, the better. She catches Kai with a big counter. These two having an answer for everything. Get back here. Leg Lariat. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen and just eating a knee on the reversal. Taking this one back to the ring now. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. Out of the ring, she has to mind the 10 count. Rapid, she can end it here. And there's the kick out. Yeah, she probably knew that cover wouldn't do it. Back. Finally, she's able to interrupt these attacks for a moment. That's possibly the trigger for Holly to battle her way back into it. And will this be it? Almost two and a half. She's still as determined as ever. Hold on! Just one step ahead.
Taking it outside the ring now. Carefully measured knee drop. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. She's starting to drag. Oh, no. She could be caught here. Bad situation for her. Oh, look at this. Look. Trying a part her opponent's fingers. Needs to find a way out of this hold. And she does. She needs to return to the ring and fast. Working on the leg. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Adjusts it and reverses it. Wow, what a pump kick. Oh, look at this here, arm wrench. Focusing on the shoulder like that can be felt all the way to your fingertips. Maybe not, maybe not. She kicks out with a Two. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. And Holly expected that. I think it's about time to roll the dice, Cole. She's in a dangerous spot and could lose this. I don't think she even knows where she is at this point. Watch out. A mat slam with some attitude. Oh, she counters right back on Kai. Swinging neck breaker. She anticipated that one. Unbelievable athleticism. And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. What if she does? Maybe she just doesn't care. books a win is a win no matter the conditions they should still be proud
The Judgment Day is here. Everyone in their way is doomed. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Rhea Ripley at a combined weight of 439 pounds. The SmackDown Tag Team Champions and the NXT Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest. The Judgment Day. The Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. The Judgment Day can beat you in so many ways. The numbers game, brute force, or pure intimidation. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all. And they all will win tonight. Just look at the Judgment Day. Powerful, dominant, and ready to unleash their anger. Expect no mercy. No concern for their opponent's well-being. Well, that's how the Judgment Day conducts their business. They want power at any cost. Things are about to get just too sweet. The OC is here and ready to have each other's backs. And their opponents, accompanied by Meechin, at a combined weight of 505 pounds. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the O.C. We all know the O.C. loves to have a good time, but the one thing they might love even more is getting into a good old-fashioned fight. Yeah, they brawled all over the world and sometimes with each other. The O.C. never sleeps on a good fight. The OC looking ready to get to work. Get to work in that ring and then get into a few cold ones after all said and done. That is the OC way. The Judgment Day has turned themselves into one of the most formidable groups in all of WWE. Cutthroat tactics, rule bending, backstage ambushes. They'll do whatever it takes to win. I respect Judgment Day's approach to competition. Why play by the rules and wait your turn when you can just go take what you want? If you don't like it, then stay out of the way. Staying out of Judgment Day's business might be easier said than done. They're always looking for their next target to annihilate. And this should be interesting because the OC is always ready for a fight. Fighting together, traveling together, hitting the pay window together. That's what the OC is all about. And it's just too sweet. And the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Tag is good. Off the tag. Double team action on the way. Putting up a united front as this match continues. Nice clothesline. And Gallo's able to reverse that. Hoist it up. And he's able to fight Priest off. Takes their breath out. Effective counter. 
Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Uh-oh! Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. Basement drop kick. He's lost some of his win now. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Followed by a forearm smash. Staved off that attack. Oh, Fowler with the counter. He moves just in time. What a hit from Gallows. That was almost a knockout. He gets tagged in. Shot after shot, then slamming their face down. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. Counter after counter. Ooh. Man. Carl gets jolted by the counter. Snapmare takedown. He skirts away, living to fight another day. And will this be it? Just kicks out. That was a long two count there. Oh my gosh, what impact. Oh, what a kick. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. And Carl must have been thinking more about his check than this match during that one. And with that move, I'd say Balor's ruthlessness will be key to his success. Fresh man in. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, man. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Tossing them aside. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but... That might be the hardest. He went right into that turnbuckle. Scoop slam. Gets tagged in. Uh-oh. He's got him scouted. Ripcord applied. Oh, and a forearm. Nice clothesline. And Anderson fends him off. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Counter on Anderson pays off. them into the corner. Uh-oh. Watch out. Sit hard into the ring post. He's in a little bit of trouble now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? He can end it here. He's got him. Man, that was such a long and hard-fought match. He earned Victory. Here are your winners, Finn Balor and Damian Priest. The Judgment Day. Let the reign of darkness rage on. As more people suffer, the Judgment Day grows even more deadly. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice.
<laughs> Are you guys ready? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 212 pounds. The WWE Light Heavyweight Champion, Christian Page. Well, if their previous matches are any indication, then this competitor plans to win this match by nearly crippling their competition. Bingo, right you are, Saxton, doing whatever it takes to capture the win and teaching their opponent a little bit about pain in the process. That is good wrestling. The champ does not want anyone making their name at his expense. He plans on fighting hard tonight. A couple of all-American athletes. And his opponent, accompanied by Rick Steiner, representing the Steiner Brothers from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 276 pounds, Scott Steiner. One of those rare championship brother teams. They just know where the other is all the time. They'll fight anyone in the locker room, even each other. Epic clashes with all the top teams in WCW and WWE. Multiple Hall of Fame duos have been unable to stop the Steiners. One of the few teams in the game to hold tag titles in WCW, WWE, and Japan. to say the champ looks ready maybe even eager for this matchup probably feeling a little extra confident knowing that the title is in contention here but this could still be a hard fought match i don't think there's much question of that but boy is he in for it dealing with scott steiner inside these ropes steiner is capable of staggering things he's got an incredible mix of technical skill and immense power yeah, Steiner spent so much time training over the years, both as a collegiate wrestler and professional. You're not going to have an easy time getting one over on an experienced grappler like him. Nice. Up the electric chair, down for the drop. What a shot! He's turning the tables. They are fading off the WWE fans, now pinning the arm down, and, and a series of vicious stomps. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. And all that Steiner muscle did him no good there. Driven down with a powerbomb. I felt the vibration of that one from all the way over here. Steiner's caught with a reversal. I don't know if they're going to have any taste buds left after that. Look out! Power has to be one of the biggest assets in Scott Steiner's arsenal, Corey. Of course, Cole, but while it's a big asset, it's absolutely... He could pin his opponent right here! Pushes through after two. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Double arm lock. Yeah, double arm lock song. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. A oh, bear hug. Squint. The bear hug cinched in. Gotta find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this. No quit whatsoever. Raining down elbows and escaping the bear hug. 
And he sends him into the corner. Oh, that can flatten you. Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. Sky high. What? And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. Frankensteiner. Nicely done. The skill, the natural ability. Scott Steiner is just a different kind of competitor. And he slides him back to the mat. Off the turnbuckles. What's he going to do? From the top. Diving elbow drop. Shoulders down. Not a win. Wow, he's going to celebrate all night long. Here is your winner, Christian Page. And that's a loss for Scott Steiner. This has to be a deflating feeling for Steiner. We know he can back up all his talk, but that wasn't the case tonight. The Viper is ready. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 245 pounds, Randy Orton. A chill is in the air. The cold calculated nature of Randy Orton is about to be on display. The Viper is a superstar who does not play well with others. Evil intentions in mind tonight, I can guarantee you that. Yeah, Orton always knows when to strike and when to strike first. Every generation, someone comes along who's simply so much better than everyone else. They just make it look easy. Randy Orton is that someone. He was born into greatness. And here he comes. Double the gold, double the bragging rights. And his opponent from Preston, England, weighing in at 246 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion and the World Wide Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Wade Barrett. Right now, he has never been more confident nor more proud. This is an accomplishment on a different level.
Well, just think of the road he traveled and what he endured to be here tonight, holding two championships. Well, it has to be recognized that right now, we are witnessing dominance on another level. This man will not let either of those titles out of his grasp. A determined look on the face of the double champion. Wade Barrett on the other side of the announce table here, but I'm excited to see what he's got planned tonight. Oh, I'm just glad it's Barrett in the ring and not you tonight, Cole. He'll at least do the commentary team proud in the ring. Um, I want to argue that, Corey, but I don't think I can. And we cannot ignore just how dangerous Randy Orton can be. As calculating and methodical in his attacks as you possibly can be. You got that right, Saxton. Orton's definitely the type of superstar you have to keep your head on a swivel for. The voices in his head are always maniacal. His mind is always going, and it's going to the places that aren't too pleasant for the competition. Barrett on the wrong side of that in-your-face style there. Usually that's all him. Orton looked confident in that exchange. Tied up between the ropes. It's about to get worse. Look at these knee strikes. Ooh. Oh! That did not look good, and Orton has started to bleed. He's taking this to the floor now. What a punch! Orton gets the better there. position to be in right now. Oh, not a power bomb onto the apron. And now thrown back into the ring. Orton firing up. The voices are talking to him. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Oh, what a strike to the back. He saw that one coming. Ooh, connects to the back of the neck. Randy Orton has sadistic. Probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the Billy Goat. The Billy Goat's curse is broken. Oh, down by the DDT. Oh. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. He's taking some good hits. Yeah, Barrett's clearly looking. Probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the Billy Goats. Oh, what a great escape. Placed into the corner. Wicked clothesline. And he goes for the pin. And it's Randy Orton able to stop the count. He's still in this. And Randy can't mount any offense. And he somehow found a way to be just as sadistic as Orton at this point. Look at it paying off. Rapid fire right hands. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Goodness gracious. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Oof. the Vipers attack. Way Barrett looks set to end this. Welcome to Wasteland. And into the count. Two. And he powers out. He's determined to keep this matchup going. His opponent's about to suffer some bad news. Barrett with the bull hammer. Somehow Orton is down. The official's concerned with the wrong thing right now. They're completely missing the pin. Amazing. An unbelievable showing of tenacity from Orton to manage the kick out. Big move, but it's still unable to end this. What an RKO! Out of nowhere. Emphatic statement from the Viper. He manages to kick out. What strength. 
I do not know how they got up from that. Operating on pure instinct and adrenaline right now. Horton is going to have to keep his composure moving forward. He thought he'd put him down with that one, and now he's got to think of another way. Lutez Press raining down right hands. Oh, he's got him here. He's got him up. And power with a sidewalk slam. He thinks he has it. Three. No. So, so close. That could have been it. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes. Hurting the tables. Oh, look at that torch of their opponent. Uh-oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, oh, man. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Stiff punch. This is quickly turning into a slugfest. Neither competitor is backing down. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Oh. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. His opponent's about to suffer some bad news. Barrett with the bull hammer. Barrett might take it here. Two count. Well, he uh, got kicked in the midsection a number of times. I hope he doesn't have a broken rib. Uh, that's certainly possible. No doubt about it. This superstar is in a great deal of pain, struggling to catch his breath. I mean, I, I'm honestly surprised he's walking out here on his own strength. He is hurt. Uh, one superstar ready to go, and here comes their opponent. These two have been waiting to settle Look this out. for a long time. Not going to wait for the bell. All oh, the pent-up aggression from this superstar being let out immediately. Not even the official can stop him. So much for playing by the rules. Well, I say that surprise attack was cowardly, but yes, it was effective. And hostilities boiled over between these superstars before they even got in the ring. Now we have a brawl on our hands. The animosity between these superstars is just off the charts. I'm not surprised at all by what's happening. Someone needs to get control of this. Oh, stuck between the corner and a splash. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Keep dealing up <laughs> oh, saw it coming. Oh, that's just disrespect right there. I kind of like it. 
As easy as it may seem to come into a no DQ match with no plan other than to get violent, strategy can play a role in this. Now's the time for a superstar to get inventive, to get creative when it comes to inflicting damage on their opponents. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. He and look at this now. Yes, applying the submission hold. Nice escape. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Right to the throat. Hits him with the counter. Heading up, he's thinking. Flying. Oh, strong impact. Rikishi could be moments away from being beaten. Rikishi with a counter. Insults have been hurled both in person and online, but now they can finally settle things in the ring. It's been a long time coming, and the WWE Universe has been looking forward to it almost as eagerly as these superstars. Their rivalry certainly has turned... Scooped up. Here it comes. Rikishi driver. Rikishi may have put the exclamation... Uh-oh, he could be looking for a submission here. A targeting... Escape and a takedown. These two trading one blow after another. Oh. The fight is on, and it's furious. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken out. Back and forth, neither one giving up any ground. Oh. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. Toe-to-toe, oh. -to -toe, treating each other like heavy bags. Climbing up to the top now. We're gonna finish it off. Swan Tone Bomb! Will Rikishi get back up? Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. I'm gonna tap out here, but it ain't gonna matter. A single leg camel clutch and a great oh. counter. And that's it, back and forth contest. The biggest attraction in WWE history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Abruzzo, Italy. Weighing in at 265 pounds. The first superstar, Bruno San Martino. Gentlemen, I think you'll agree with me. This is like having a god walk among us. Truly a spectacular sight. The living legend, Bruno Sammartino. Yeah, it really does feel like he's more than just a man. But to the fans, he is more than just a man. The leader of the Attitude Era, the Rattlesnake. And his opponent from Victoria, Texas, Weighing in at 252 pounds, the WWE Undisputed Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin! I got a premonition we're about to see some mud holes stomped and walk dry before our very eyes. A man who just oozes attitude and does whatever he wants. <laughs> Corey, remember when Stone Cold stunned Byron? Oh my God, yes. How could I forget? 
Hey, at least I got a free adult beverage out of it. I thought you didn't drink, Byron. Well, all of us don't hold. And here we go, it's Stone Cold Steve Austin set for action. I hope you guys are ready for a good old fashioned fight. As much of a brawler as Austin is, you really can't forget about his technical abilities. We've seen what happens when an opponent thinks that Austin is just fists and feet. You nailed that on the head, Byron. Let's take a second to appreciate the other man in the ring, the superhuman Bruno San Martino. A true hero of the people, Bruno is so beloved by the WWE Universe that he has single-handedly sold out some of America's most famous arenas. But that love for Bruno wraps around the whole globe. This is a man everyone holds in high regard and has the utmost respect for. I don't think there's a single competitor in WWE who wouldn't say Bruno is an inspiration to them. Paying it right back with a reversal. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. There's some power behind that punch. Oh, good night. Sorry. Attacking the arm. Now it's Austin getting striked down without any warning. Yeah, San Martino saw the opportunity and didn't hesitate. Hurled away. He's got him covered. A kick out before three. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Bruno's resume speaks for itself, but you have to think Austin is just itching to see how the living legend stacks up against a stone-cold stunner. Probably not great. All due respect to Bruno, but Austin made his name off of ending matches in the blink of an eye. Stone Cold will be looking to get this thing won before San Martino can take control. Oh, the knee just being torn apart now. Systematic attack on that arm. All the way up, sidewalk slam deliver. Bruno wasn't showing any love or respect for that attack. And Austin showing he can do this all day, all by himself. Stone Cold reverses. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Big risk here, he may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Oh, man meeting the barricade. Austin showing no fear, no intimidation. Austin got it. Austin gains the victory. Here is your winner, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Well, it looks like Austin 316 said he just beat the one and only Bruno San Martino. A culture clash, a physical clash. This match lived up to the hype and then some. Austin standing tall after a truly hard-fought victory over the living legend.
The man is here. A competitor who never backs down from a fight. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. The climb to greatness was filled with obstacles for Becky Lynch. She's earned everything she has and is always seeking new challenges to overcome. I have all the respect in the world for what Becky Lynch has accomplished. My question is, will we see someone knock her off the top of the mountain? Became the first women's double champion when she beat Charlotte Flair at WrestleMania. Yeah, but every once in a while, that much confidence can be detrimental, especially when you're a target. Everyone wants to make a name off of the man. The EST of WWE. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. Hey, Bianca, make such a confident entrance. Let's be honest, it's because Bianca Belair realizes exactly how great she is. Uh, uh, um, Corey, not just great, the greatest. Get it? Oh, what a tall task for this woman here tonight, trying to prove she's worthy. Much easier said than done, Cole. We know Becky Lynch is always at the top of her game. Both Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair have had quite the competitive rivalry here in WWE. Both superstars are all about being the best. Both believe they have claimed to the very top of the women's division. Yeah, and that's because they both have two of the biggest egos in the women's division, Cole. Taking nothing away from either of these women in the ring, but you cannot deny the size of their egos. In fact, Becky Lynch's ego has often propelled her to that top spot. There's no denying that. Yeah, well, this match is all about proving right here, right now, who actually deserves that spot. Now, their Lynch nor Belair is going to back down from this fight. Whoa. Oh! Oh, just completely off target there. Brash decision-making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. Oh, close line! A power of a deadlift into a military press. Wow. Walking Incredible. around the ring. Look at this power from Bianca Belair. Being able to pull that off, no one is going to question if you skip going to the gym today. Oh, my goodness. This hurts. Oh. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Becky Lynch setting up for the big exploder. Double underhook. Sit out. Slip. She fights her way out of the armbar. Dodged right on cue. Bianca Belair, such a dominant and athletic superstar, considered the EST of WWE. Will this be enough? <laughs> Fending off a two count there. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. Ooh. She avoids the contact. Punch connects. Slugging it out, toe to toe now. Fighting back with a counter. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Big shots being fired right now. Neither competitor letting up. Slugging away with everything they've got. 
This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. Oof! Forearm to the face! Oh, nothing fancy about that. Oh, look out! Leg drop from the ropes. There it is. This could be it! Cover for the win! Stopping the rest count in two. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Jawbreaker counter to get out of that. Say goodnight. KOD! The kiss of death! Will that overtake Becky? Cover! Almost had her, but she gets the shoulder up. The highest of Becky's aspirations was almost gone in the blink of an eye, but the man refuses to surrender. And you gotta think that this could be a mental hurdle for she covers for the pin. She kicks out with force. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. Becky moves out. This might be the beginning of the end. Slam. Will that sew this up for Becky? Two. What a performance and what a win. Here is your winner, Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch makes a statement with her win over Bianca Belair. This was what a hell of a match. Shout out to Becky. She made those big money moves against Belair and they paid major dividends. I actually like this because the trash talking's already started. It is very clear these superstars do not like each other. Oh, we're not going to wait any longer. The match hasn't even started yet. And these superstars couldn't care less. This is personal. These two just want to tear each other apart. I'm not sure the referee is going to get control. That attack before the bell doesn't seem to have diminished these superstars' eagerness to start this match. You're right about that. You can see some very determined looks on the faces of these competitors as we get underway. And you know, I just hope we have a clean fight here moving forward. I'm not sure you should get your hopes up. If that starts anything to go by, we are in for a drag-out slugfest here. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. Watcher set up in the corner. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ouch. That's one way to get your opponent out of the corner. And up the turnbuckles we go. Up high. Point of the elbow finds the mark. Into the pin attempt. Two. A kick out to stay alive. Close call. That was almost lights out. Just 
just punishing. Clothesline delivered. Grabs the leg. Oh, the leg toss. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. She's fighting back. Ah, oh, set out Matt Slam. Got their opponent set up. Drop kick to the back. She's going up. Top rope here. From the top. Elbow drop. Counter. And now there's an opening. Always a volatile and unstable situation when superstars with a rivalry like this one get in the ring. It's basically just a recipe for disaster. They'll hold nothing back in their pursuit of victory. This is a deeply personal beef, and they're trying to settle it the only way they know how. Good Lord! What a slam! Raw power from Raquel. It's hard not to see something like that and understand you have a truly special athlete in Raquel. Butterfly double underhook up and face buster. That could finish off Raquel. Two. Finally over. Here is your winner, Man D. Rose. They had a plan and it worked to perfection. Yeah, their opponent was just unable to overcome the damage caused by that earlier attack. What a tough loss. After a loss like this, under these circumstances, I have to think it brews more bad blood here.